everyone, I'm Beth Ride and today we're going to be going to a pole clinic with Gracie. It's quite a small arena, but we'll make it work. And so yeah, I'm gonna go get changed. I'm going to be wearing plum today. It took me ages to find it. It was all out of stock, so Okay, we're just about to go to a repole clinic. Oh, it's cold. Just about to go to a pole clinic. Uh, it's not the best day, but at least we're indoors. So that'll be fine. My mum got in the car and then we are on our way to the yard. No, because I don't have to go out to the field. When we got there, Grace was a bit moody, but that's typical. She got happy eventually and was trying to eat my fingers, but that's, that's fine. Um, I brushed her for a bit and cuddled her. We tacked up at the pole clinic as it was quite a long way. I did her mini tail and I was quite proud of the tail, but her mane, her mane, she kept moving. So it didn't really turn out great, but at least it was still plaited or waterfall pla um, plaited. I put her matching little travel booties and her matching rug on, which she looked adorable in it, and then we were ready to go. Yeah, she like, I want to go too. She's like, me next. Surprisingly, loads of people don't know what a pole clinic is, but I am going to tell you what it is for people who don't know. It's you go to an arena with a trainer and there's loads of poles on the ground. They teach you how to go over poles, how to do your form properly whilst over poles and it's a really good experience. We are here now. I just need to get my hat and bonnet on. Okay. It's, it's a bit chilly. It's a bit cold. It's freezing. No, I dropped my glove. Need my hat. When we first got in there, Grace was a bit slow, but eventually she sped up and I think she actually realised we were doing poles and she was like, oh my gosh! As you can see here, she's like, just let me go over the poles. She was being really good and then she was starting to be a bit cheeky cantering over the poles and I couldn't really stop her. She really did want to be the centre of attention. Um, her ears in this video just shows it all. She was loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. I was like, oh my gosh, please um, slow down. Um, we were meant to trot over these poles. I wasn't expecting her to canter, so I didn't slow her down. I did eventually, obviously. And everyone was just laughing. Then she did it again, but my mum was filming her leg, which is fine, but um, I don't really feel like anyone would want to watch her leg. So then the instructor made me and Grace go the opposite way to confuse her. We walked over the poles and that time she was actually really good. Then we had to do a trot and then we had to get her to walk again to get her listening to me. Which she was listening but she was also pulling quite a lot. So, <laughs> swishy tail getting angry at me. <laughs> As you could tell she was like really wanting to go but I wasn't letting her so she's getting a bit angry. Then we tried it in trot the other way and she did them perfectly. And then we were allowed to canter after, so I let her canter. She didn't take off for me, which was good. I'm glad, I'm happy about that. We kept doing them, and she was actually overall really good, except from that one little, I don't know what to call that, hissy fit that she had. It was so cold. It's freezing. Hissy Gris. It was quite good, actually. She was a bit cheeky at some point. Um, but other than that, she did actually really well. It's a bit awkward just standing here. Um, it started raining so I didn't have time to film me untucking and stuff. 
so I don't have a lot of footage of that. I need to open it. Then we were on our way back, and I put her rug on and got her out to the field with her best friend Wigsy. I had to poo pick first because before we left, she did two poos, and <laughs> right after the um, livery person was marked out, she did two poos. So well done, Grace. Thank you very much for that. I don't know if you can tell, but I barely ever muck out, so this was quite a struggle for me. Billy, Billy, why did you do two poons? Little silly Billy. I need to take you out to build, don't I? Smile. Come on. Smile. Good girl. Smile. Well, fist bump. Fist bump. Good girl. I was trying to film and undo my boots at the same time, but it didn't really work. Okay, now we're out. Just need to pack up everything and I don't know if the lorry is already sorted out, but if it is then we can go home, have lunch. I can't open the gate. A little bit embarrassing. Nice. <laughs> sniffing away. Just a little explanation before you watch me jump on foot. This was last week. These jumping videos of me on foot, I haven't been put on YouTube yet, so I decided to put them in this week's vlog. So enjoy watching me jump on foot and put in the comments how high you think I'll go before you watch it. Okay, we'll start with 50. Okay, that was easy. Okay. Ninety. Yeah. Oh, I did it. Wait, I did it. I did it. No. Oh. Oh. I try to take my shoes off. Oh, so close. No. I cleared it. Oh. Huh? I just whacked my chin off the whip. Okay. Oh, well. 